If you haven't tried the chocolate cream cold brew from Starbucks yet, I am personally offended. Hey everybody! What is up? Welcome back to my channel! I am so excited to be back, you guys. Like, you have no idea. It has been far too long. I believe when I last saw you, I was actually still in Costa Rica. I am back home now, and I am so happy to be back. I mean, I loved Costa Rica. It was so nice, but I definitely was getting a little homesick, so I'm happy to be home. Excuse the background, by the way. I am actually filming in the living room today. I didn't want to film in my room because uh, it has two months worth of unpacking in it, and it's very cluttered right now. So to spare you guys, I wanted a wide open space to film. Hopefully you don't mind, but if you do, we're doing it anyway, so I'm sorry. Guess what today's video is about. Guess, you'll never guess. I mean, it's not like it's in the title or anything. Ooh, so close. Today we are doing a first impression of the new Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. Powder that's blurring and a balm. Hmm. Shall we call it science? I call it science. Honestly, guys, I am one of those people who is kind of anti-balm. I really feel like it would feel kind of greasy and oily on my skin, so I always try to avoid those type of products, but something really intrigued me about this one. I don't know why, but I do love Danessa Myricks, and yeah, I wanted to try it, so. <laughs> I've heard really good things about it. Let's dive right in. I actually have two shades I'm going to be uh, showing you guys today. I'm pretty sure I already know my shade because being the impatient person that I am, I couldn't help myself. So I actually already swatched these. I still wanted to show you guys the shade swatched on my skin so that if you're using me as a shade reference, you kind of had a better idea of which one you're gonna go with. Also, excuse the lighting in here. We're kind of running off of just a natural lighting right now because it's still pretty early in the day and you know, there's a huge window in front of me so I just figured it would be nice. Again, hopefully you guys don't mind, but this is what we're doing. This is what's happening, okay? Oh my God, heaven. I don't know if you guys saw the beginning. Hopefully you did if you're watching this video. 10 out of 10 for the Starbucks chocolate cream cold brew. This stuff is so, so good. I love it. And honestly, I really was on the fence. I didn't think I would love it, but I do love it. It is so good. I always get it with extra of the cold foam because I like my drinks a little creamier and a little sweeter. So in case you're like me, I highly suggest doing so. So without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and dive right in. Let me just uh, put the her back. And now that that's a non-factor, let's get right into it. So as I said, I picked up two shades. I have the shade four and the shade five. Now this product doesn't come in that many shades. It appears to come in 11 shades. I'm sorry, 10 shades, 10. Did I say 11? Oh my God, I'm sorry guys. This video is already a fail and I just started. So as I said, I have these shades four and five. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you so you guys have a good idea of the shade before you pick it up if you are close to my skin tone. The packaging is really cute. Standard for a balm, it's like a twist off lid. It's kind of like a brownie, coppery color. It just has her initials right there as you can see and it does actually come with this little spatula in the front just in case you want to scoop out the product it has a twist off lid and then there is the product oh my god I just accidentally indented my finger into it so no that's just what I'm gonna use as a swatch so I am going to first go ahead and swatch the shade 4 I'm just using the finger that accidentally indented into the product. You can see right there, that is shade four. And excuse my skin, guys. I am breaking out like crazy. It's not even funny. I don't know what happened. As soon as I got back, my skin just freaked out and I don't know why, but I'm not loving it. I have actually been trying this new CoverGirl moisturizer. So I don't know if that's the cause of it, but um, it's supposed to give you 72 hours of hydration. And I was just feeling really dry when I landed back in California. So I wanted a really moisturizing moisturizer and I don't know if my skin likes it. It might not like it. Might have to go back to my Cetaphil. So yeah, that is the shade four. As you can see, kind of works, but it just seems too light for me. So not going with that one. I likely will use shade five. And touching the product, it is so very lightweight, you guys. It feels very thin, <laughs> the best I can describe it. So here is shade five. Hopefully I'm close enough for you guys to see. Yeah, here is the two shades, four and five. Now, five does appear to be just a little bit orangey, but I just feel like four is too light. So I am definitely leaning more towards shade five though. So I think I'm gonna go with that today. And if it ends up being too orangey, I'll mix in a little bit of four, but I think we're gonna go with shade five. To apply the foundation, I'm going to go in with this large dome shaped, very dense foundation brush. I actually don't know the name of it. It doesn't have a name. I actually got this from Shein. So as I said, I'm gonna go in with shade five. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub my finger in the balm just to kind of warm it up like so. And I am just going to 
start applying that to my face. It looks so orangey when you first put it on. The problem with balms and whatnot, I feel like it's kind of awkward to apply. Like I never know what um, works best. I could be putting way too much on right now, who's to know? But I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my beautiful clean <laughs> dome brush. And I'm kind of just stippling. I guess with products like this, it's kind of better to, I don't know, rub it. <laughs> the one thing I am not good at is terms. Never know what to say. I think what I might try doing is to dip in directly to the product with the brush. So I have a little bit on there and then just kind of like that better. It's crazy, it feels like nothing. It feels like I'm applying nothing. It's very strange. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm just rubbing a brush across my skin and there's nothing on it. Imani, how can something feel like nothing? Like, I don't know how they pulled that off. The answer to that is science. Science. Okay, just kidding. I don't actually know how they pulled that off. Maybe it's not science, but it kind of has to be, right? Everything has to do with science. Crazy, I just feel like I want to keep applying it because I don't feel anything on my skin, but I need to stop because I don't want to put on too, too much. <laughs> okay, so here is one half of my face done. Here is the side without the balm. Here is the side with the balm applied. This is about, I don't know, like, I guess it would be a layer and a half or two layers. <laughs> I should have been keeping better track at how much I was applying, but I don't know. It's just so thin in consistency. It's really hard for me to even tell like how much I really put on. I just kind of kept dipping, but it looks extremely natural, you guys. Like, it's almost like, am I even wearing anything? Again, this is the side with the balm. This is without the balm. So hopefully you can see a difference. I mean, honestly, it looks really, really good. It just kind of looks like natural skin. It looks like kind of your skin, but better. It is very blurring. It did an okay job of covering up some of the issues that were going on on my face, but I wouldn't say it's like full coverage. I don't think it claims to be a full coverage. It says it is a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring a balm to powder that balances oils through the day while maintaining hydration. Powered by cutting edge blurring Swedish technology. I don't know what Swedish technology is, but <laughs> Evidently, it's called Upsolite. It says it visually creates a soft focus on pores and fine lines. Tap on with fingers to smooth and blur textured areas. So I do believe it wants you to apply with your fingers, but I don't like the way that feels to just apply product with my fingers. So I'm using a brush, but I'm sure it's fine. You can use whatever tool you'd like and just kind of see what works best for you. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my face and read you guys a little bit more about the product. This groundbreaking balm to powder formula is powered by Swedish super ingredient Upsolite. Upsolite supports and absorbs excess sebum and sweat while maintaining skin's hydration. Olive derived squalene, known to support oil production and diminish visible signs of aging. This petal-like texture feels like a balm but sets like a powder for a long-lasting shine-free look. It is also vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. Coverage is supposed to be light, the finish is natural, and the formulation is cream. Okay guys, so I just finished applying both sides. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. It is super, super natural looking. I can't stress that enough. It looks and feels incredibly natural. I do not feel a single thing on my skin. It's kind of crazy. This is probably one of the lightest products I've ever felt. And I think it looks really, really good on the skin. But you guys tell me what you think. I wanna know your opinion. She's radiant, but she's also matte. She's got a glow, but she's not oily. She's got coverage, but she's also smooth. That is exactly what we want. Okay, friends, so I am going to finish up the rest of my face and I am going to check back in with you guys in a few moments. Alrighty, guys, we are back. This is it. This is the finished look. And I think it looks absolutely flawless you guys like amazing let me get you guys in a little bit closer so you can see so you can see that it just looks really really nice on the skin it doesn't look heavy it doesn't look cakey it is very blurring and smooth i love the way it looks so around my pores i don't really have big pores in my opinion you know you don't really see much pores if anything you just kind of see my skin texture from all my breakouts but I try to ignore that and just focus on the foundation, okay? Um, I will say it's doing okay in my smile lines. I do think it is settling just a little bit, but nothing too crazy. I have seen worse from other foundations. I keep calling this a foundation a balm or whatever. <laughs> this is the first balm I've ever tried, so, you know. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like I've seen worse from other foundations. One thing I would like to point out is I did feel like I had a little bit of trouble blending my bronzer and my blush. It's probably my fault because I didn't really set this foundation 
foundation because I felt like I didn't really need to. Again, it felt like absolutely nothing on my skin. So it just felt like I didn't need to add any powder. It's crazy coming from me because I set everything no matter what. Honestly, it just felt really set in place. It didn't feel sticky or tacky. It didn't feel like it was gonna move around. So I actually didn't set it and that could be my fault. I mean, it looks fine now, but I did have some trouble blending it out for some reason. And to me, it looks a little bit patchier than it typically does. I know maybe not to you guys, but just in my personal opinion, that is my only gripe right now. I, I think other than that, it looks really, really good. Sorry, my camera just continuously wants to have focusing issues. What is your problem? What is your problem? So anyway, guys, yes, we are gonna do a full day wear test of this. I am going to give you a midday check-in on how it's looking and then an end of the night check-in to see how it wore for the whole day. It is currently 11.33 in the morning. I actually finished my makeup a little while ago, probably about 30 minutes ago, so more around 11 o'clock, but I ended up getting uh, some calls for work, so I had to go ahead and take care of that. So let's call it the end time 11 o'clock, okay? We're cheating just a little bit. I will check in with you guys throughout the day. Hey friendship, it's me, I'm checking in. So it is about three o'clock, well, it's 3.03. .03. Sorry if you can hear my air conditioning. I wanted to do a quick midday check-in so you guys can see how the foundation is looking on my skin. I'm in the car right now, but I thought what better time than any because car lighting makes a world of difference sometimes. Let's get a little bit of a close up here. I think it still looks really, really good actually. So the only concern I have is I do see that it is starting to try and settle in my smile lines, but nothing crazy at all. It's a little more so on this side. And I also have like a little line right here. It is sinking a little bit more on my right side. Not a big deal, but just something that I am noting. Other than that, it looks pretty much exactly the same as when I first applied it. Looks fresh. I don't look greasy or oily. Do note that I do have more normal to slightly dry skin. So I didn't think that I would look oily anyway because I, I typically don't just to know in case you have similar skin to mine This may be how it wears on you good in my pores. I don't really see any issues does not appear to have came off anywhere. Even around my mouth, I actually just ate a burger. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy, like even around my mouth, which usually fades very quickly, it has not come off at all, looks like. Hopefully it continues to look this way. I will uh, check you guys in at the end of the night, but this is what we have so far, guys. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is now 11.26 at night. My phone is so close to dying. I wanted to stop in and give you guys an update on how the foundation is looking and how it has worn throughout the day. I I am so ready to go to bed. I'm so tired. So we're gonna end this wear test here. I have not touched up in the slightest. This is just how it has worn. To be completely honest with you guys, it looks really, really good. However, I wouldn't say it's anything mind blowing. <laughs> like I'm not totally in love with it to the point where I feel like this is my new holy grail, but it does look really, really good and it has worn beautifully. Hopefully you guys can see good enough. Whew, she is looking crusty close up. And if you do see any white, like streaks or anything like that. I was crying earlier. Long story, don't wanna get into it, but I was crying. So um, that's what that is. Um, it's not necessarily the foundation's fault. It doesn't claim to be like waterproof or anything like that. I do feel like it has patched off a little tiny bit in areas around my cheeks. But other than that, it's not looking bad at all. I still have a lot of coverage. I think it's actually a really good product, you guys. I would highly, highly recommend this for people who have oily skin. It's very locked in place and I don't feel greasy at all. It is so light weight and I just feel like it would do extremely well on your skin if it is oily. I would still go in with your regular primers that you use to combat that but I do feel like this product does really really well and I feel like it would hold up very well on your oily skin as well as normal skin or all skin types. I think if you have dry skin it is pretty matte so I would make sure that you're wearing a really hydrating primer or moisturizer underneath. Yeah guys it's not my absolute favorite in the world but it's a really really good foundation balm. It does exactly what it claims so I say it's a score. Let me know what you guys think. Does my skin look yummy? I think it looks pretty good for 12 hours of wear. Definitely would recommend you guys give it a try if you have been thinking about it. Watch a few more reviews if you need to, but um, as far as I'm concerned, it's a good foundation. Anyways, I am ready for bed, so I am going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I can't wait to film more content for you. Thank you for spending a little portion of your day with me. Make sure to like and comment down below if you want to be friends and follow me on my social if you would like to stay connected. Um, and until next time, guys, see you soon. Bye!